Oh my God. Okay, so we're gonna have to, yeah, we have to just, yep, we had to do that, boys. Yo, what is up guys, Boltrix here, back with a brand new video, and today guys, we're just gonna sit back, relax, and play some relax and more pit, so let's just get right into it, boys. So I haven't been streaming much, I do apologize for that, if you have been wondering where I have been, um, I've just been traveling a lot, not like across the country or anything, just back and forth home, um, because I do live, like my childhood home is like 40 minutes away from me, so... I was going back there a lot recently for like grad parties and just little things like that just to see my family and stuff like that. So I do apologize, but I plan on getting back into the streams very, very soon, boys. So we finally found our first opponent. Uh, uh, yeah, I'm not even gonna try to say that. Okay, that is just way too motherfucking hard. Okay, we're just gonna find another opponent actually. All right, so we are back with our first opponent, Caleb. Oh my lord, we are playing against the one and the only motherfucking Caleb. 88 mil? Caleb, you really got that many, bro? Holy shit. Okay, so I decide to uh, DC from the first game just because the guy didn't really look uh, too good. No offense or anything. It's just that I'm in my pit. I'm trying to find good opponents. Uh, so I just figured that I would DC to that guy. We got Caleb now, and obviously, if you don't know Caleb, he is a really, really, really good player. Uh, so this should be quite the match, ladies and gentlemen, let me tell you. So I think we're just going to go Boat Farm Boomer, uh, because it's Industrial Zone. I hate Industrial Zone. So let's see how this motherfucking game goes, boys. Of course, we're going to be immediately starting off with our Eco Amplify. Let's do that. And it looks like Caleb has it yet to do anything, which is kind of concerning. He probably is going eco then. Oh my god, Caleb is going to try to freaking cobra me? Are you serious, Caleb? Alright, I kind of like it though. Let's get up our boat, of course. And then we're also going to be going for the more bananas. I actually should have went for the more bananas first. Uh, so my apologies on that, but it's not too big of an issue. So we're most definitely going to be sending him five sets of reds. And then probably a lot of space blues behind that because we really want to force uh, some type of upgrade on his side. So let's use our eco amplifier once again. And yeah, he's definitely going to be leaking some lives here. Uh, it looks like he's going to be building up a wizard. So he's going to be able to defend against that. But yeah, he's definitely going to take a punch. Like pretty big of a punch. Oh my god, he might leak down to like 90 something lives. Let's go for this uh, plantation here. And he has yet to force any upgrades on our side. So that is a good thing, of course. And yeah, we're going to be probably maybe sending him some space pinks. We'll see how it goes. Uh, I want to use this eco amplifier once more. Uh, so let's do that. And obviously, yeah, we just got to get up the scrape shot now. Okay, so we're going to put this bad boy on close. We're going to see how that goes. Actually, no, screw that. We're going to put this on last. Okay, let's do that. It looks like it's going to be pretty good for us on last. And we probably have to get up the fast shooting. So I'm just going to do that now because it looks like we are kind of leaking quite a bit of lives. Uh, but hopefully with this, we should be pretty good. I don't know. We're still leaking, boys. So we might just want to get up another boat, possibly. Oh, no, he's done. Oh, no. Okay, I was wrong. Oh, what? Now you're getting up the farm, Caleb. What in the fucking world? I don't know if he had salted wounds either. I hope he didn't because I didn't see him use anything. He probably has, like, the super eco balloon boost or whatever the hell it's called. Uh, so we're, we're yeah, we're going to have to do something this round. Um, let's send him some space blacks. And, yeah, he's going to be coming at us with some space blacks. So we're going to have to get up this second grape shot. So let's immediately do that. And, yeah, it looks like he got... Uh, some more Cobras to help him out, uh, but it looks like he's gonna leak actually so I'm just gonna continue to send these and Yeah, he's gonna have to get up that lightning in which it looks like he just sold a Cobra to get yeah Okay, he did so he's down to 76 we are at 80 so pretty even on the lives if you do ask me Let's go for this third farm here. We should be good with anything that he does send us currently um, We have to watch out obviously for round eight uh, But other than that we should be pretty good We might have to send him some yellows if he does go for another farm and yeah, he just went for it, boy. So we're going to send him some yellows immediately. And his wizard's placed in the back, so he's going to have to damage boost. Oh, and there he goes for that. Uh, I really don't want to have to boost, so let's get this. All right, so he's going to send us quite a bit of fucking yellows. Oh, my God. And we're going to be pretty good. Yeah, we're going to be able to defend. Cool, cool, cool. I just really did not want to waste a boost. I think he wanted to trade boost, but I was like, not, not about that, man. And our boomer came freaking clutch, boys. So... We're probably gonna have to send him some like pinks or something maybe next round. Oh, most definitely. We're immediately sending him some pinks uh, just because he went for that farm. So he's gonna have to boost or something. Oh, he sells a farm. Oh my God, he's gonna have to get up another freaking wizard down to 41 lives. Holy shit, looking pretty close for Caleb if you do ask me. Oh my God. Okay, so we're gonna have to, yeah, we have to just, yep, we had to do that, boys. Jam-packed balloons are fucking O. 
P, boys. Okay, so let's get up some camo detection. We're gonna have to get up a cannon ship as well. I'm gonna set that to strong. This one, yeah, we need this on first. And yeah, he has quite a bit of defenses in the back currently. He might just try to all out us, so I definitely will be on standby for that. And here comes a little bit of a rush. We're gonna have to do this, sell that real quick, and we have to turbocharge that. Uh, because that was quite a bit of motherfucking balloons. Holy shit. Let's get up our can ship once again, put it on strong. Let's sell this. And once again, okay. Oh right. Wow, that fucking scared me, dude, because I mm, I accidentally upgraded to the wrong boomer, dude. Oh, damn, that sucks. Okay, we need to get up our farms, man. Our farms are kinda slacking right now. We're most definitely gonna be sending him a quick shot of camo ceramic. He's he has like no options now. He's probably gonna have to just all out us. Uh if you were to ask me uh we're just gonna turbocharge that and yeah he's just being super fucking aggressive let's just do that and there is yeah that's a gg man he's gonna completely miss that and caleb goes down let's freaking go boys <laughs> yes caleb is a really good person he's always in my tournaments if you did not know always in my live stream so thank you so much for your support and love all right i really like caleb i really respect him never has said anything toxic or anything so yeah g g my friend i will catch you on the next one so we are back with our next opponent i'm not yendix he looks pretty good of course has quite a bit of games played four million medallions and everything global rank is 34th but he has no prestige rank so that means he's actually losing medallions so maybe we have a chance boys okay i'm, I'm pretty sure we do we got the map a game we're gonna be skipping that I just don't prefer it. Let's see what we can get. Interchange. All right. I'm actually really down to play. Let's just go. Yeah, we're going to go Dart Wiz Farm for this one, boys. Uh, just because it works out pretty well in this map. And Let's can definitely be a pain. So that's why I like to go with the Wizard. Dude, I'm honestly so proud of myself, too. Like, I hate when people say they're proud of myself. Or their selves, I mean. But I am proud of myself for winning on a map like Interchange, okay? Or, no. Not interchange freaking industrial zone i hate industrial zone but yeah i i remember playing in like a video a while back and i think i went dart whiz uh just because i didn't want to go boat boomer and it like completely freaking screwed me so you definitely want to make sure that you go boat on that map okay boys do not go freaking dart all right dart is just not that good on that map compared to um, to other strategies like Boat Boomer. So it looks like I'm not Yendex is going to be starting off with the Ninja, which is definitely very, very uncommon. Uh, so I'm assuming that he's going Ninja Ice or maybe Ninja Mortar. I have no freaking clue, boys. So it looks like he's going to be also sending us some Space Blues here. I'm actually just going to upgrade to the Triple Dart immediately uh, just because you don't, you, don't, you don't have to create this. Okay, we already got upper plantation with our Ego Amplifier. And also this guy might have salted wounds he has yet to use a power so we'll see what happens let's use our eco amplifier once more and yeah we're gonna see what he does so if he does send us some space pinks which he should uh we're gonna set down another triple dart over here immediately so let's get this up cool 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 so it's good for him because he doesn't have to send too many meaning that he doesn't have to waste a lot of money sending space pinks so he can just put that money into his farms uh just like he just did he just got to that plantation uh, but with us going with the Eco Amplifier, we definitely have an early game advantage, obviously. You can see that we're already out farming him pretty hard. About to get up our second plantation, and he still doesn't even have a second 1-0 farm. So, let's do that. And then we're going to be sending him some Space Blacks. Actually, no, fuck that. We're going to be really, really aggressive. We're going to send him a lot of freaking greens just because he just went for that farm. Uh, so, I really, really want him to sell it. And I'm thinking that's what he's going to have to do. Oh, my God. He just got rubber gold. Oh, shit yet all right that, that kind of backfired all right I, I i'm not gonna lie that kind of backfired <laughs> i did not expect him to have a power like that but he just got so much freaking money out of that he upgraded to the double shot as well so he can defend against space blacks damn well it's good to know that he has that now because he just got a lot of freaking money from popping all this motherfucking balloons and he also has the lightning power uh, so that is also good to know so we're gonna be going for this plantation here maybe actually i might not Nope, screw that. Never mind. He just went for that one zero. I was waiting for him to upgrade to another farm uh, so that I could go for this plantation. So that is good. Now he has no money to send us yellows. Uh, we're also going to be going for this farm. So let's do that. And yeah, we're looking pretty solid, boys. He's in farm lead. So that is a good thing. We're going to be going for this plantation and then maybe another one zero farm before round 10. We're going to have 
to have to upgrade to our wizard, if that makes any sense. Uh, but it is pretty cheap to get our lead popping power, so that is good. He's going to have to upgrade to a Razor Rotors if he wants to pop leads or a Flash Bomber, but he's probably going to do a Razor Rotors. Uh, he has yet to send us any lead, so or any leads, that is. So I didn't up my wizard. I don't need to. This is like the ultimate greed. I'm not going to lie, boys. He just really focused on upgrading his shit currently. So he's just not paying attention to what's happening on my side, which is definitely a good thing for me. So we have quite a bit of money. I mean, we had on round 11, five plantations, a 110 farm. I'm about to go for my BIA, boys. I think I'm going to do it. I think I'm going to do it. Let's do it, boys. BIA on round freaking 12. Oh, my Lord. Okay, so yeah, here he comes finally with those. Um, I got some camo detection on that as well. Uh, okay, cool. So now we got that plantation back up in place. We also have our wizard. So yeah, we're looking really, really solid, boys. We're probably going to send him a boosted ceramic. Mm, maybe not around 15, around 16 I might do that. Yeah, we're going to do it on around 16 um, with some leads and then the boosted ceramic. We're not going to send camo just because he has that ninja. So he pretty much already has camo detection. He probably should be going for a BIA here soon. Or he's just going to try to all out me, possibly. If he does, we're actually going to be able to fan club. So I'm going to actually get some camo detection like I just did. And yeah, he's not doing anything just yet, boys. So let's send him some regular leads this round. All right, just a few sets. And we're going to quick shot this ceramic. All right, let's see what... Oh, okay. It looks like that ceramic's going pretty far. He's definitely going to be leaking some lives. Down to 81. 78. Okay. All right. So he used the rubber to gold thing once again. Oh my God. What the fuck? Okay, you got your BIA super late. <laughs> I don't understand like what he was trying to do right there. That was really, really weird. Uh, he just got that uh, balloon jitsu down there as well. So we're not going to be sending him a Moab just yet. I might quick shot some ceramics. Oh, God. Okay, that was a really good time to freaking send leads, bro. Holy shit. Okay, we might have to just boost this. We might have to boost this, boy. Boost that. <laughs> Holy shit. You just sent me a lot of regens, my friend. Oh my god, I can cash this out. Cool. All right, let's get that up. And wow, I just definitely did not expect that. Uh, we have a factory though, so that is looking good. I'm probably just going to quick shot him some ceramics here in a second. Uh, yeah, let's just do that with the AI. Let's see what he does. Oh, he's dead. He's 100% dead. Oh no, he has damage boost. Was it too late? And it was indeed G freaking G. So the reason why I quick shot his ceramics right at that time was because of the AI leads, okay? So he only had one tower, which was his heli pilot that was able to pop lead balloons. So I just took advantage of that. So that's gonna be a GG. I will catch y'all in the final game. So we are back with our last opponent, Bees on Crack. <laughs> what kind of name is that? I, I'm not too sure, but... Uh, definitely quite the name. Um, not too good with his global rankings. I mean, okay, so I see this comment all the time. Boltrix, what's your global ranking? They're shit, okay? So, because I don't grind. So, I mean, I, I shouldn't really talk shit on him because his rankings are better than mine, but I, I just don't grind. That's why. <laughs> so, we got the map Indoor Pools. I'm actually down to play. Let's do it. I am definitely down. Oh, no. Beats on Crack was like, screw that. We got the map Temple. I don't want to play on Temple, though, okay? Just not feeling it, boys. Let's see what we get. Cards. So, this time around, let's just go Ninja NG. Actually, scratch that. We're going this, all right? We're going to hope to God this actually works, all right? Obviously, this is kind of a meme strategy. Going the, with the Spike Factory, all right? It's not the most efficient strategy, but it works, okay? It definitely does. I want to see if we can pull through with the win, boys. Let's freaking get right into it. We're going to be using our Eco Amplifier immediately. Then getting up our farm and then our first tower is going to be our boomer so he also has eco amplifier so that is a good sign for him of course let's get up this farm and then we're also going to be upgrading to the more bananas immediately so let's do that and then we're going to get up this boomer so we're going to put it approximately right here there we go and he's going to be starting off with then mm, he's going ninja ng i meant to say he was going to start off or he is starting off with the ng yeah he's probably going ninja ng boys which is uh, pretty oh my god i was so late to that eco that's fine though let's use our eco amplifier once again we're not going to be able to go for this farm boys so we're just gonna probably have to upgrade uh to this bionic boomer and yeah he's going for his next farm god damn it so that's what sucks with using this strategy you fall behind uh in the early game rounds oh my god i swear man mm. I probably should have went into ng ninja ng was my first option okay i really just wanted to use it because i haven't used it in a video in a while 
Uh, but if I can use the spike factory, I'm not going to pass up on that opportunity, fuel boys. I forgot to use my eco amplifier for the last time. Let's send him a lot of space pinks this round, okay? A lot of freaking space pinks. We really want to put the pressure up on his side. I'm going to have to slowly but surely catch back up in the farms, boys. So um, he does have that one zero on us, but he is leaking some lives and his NGs aren't in the greatest positions. Okay, we're going to want to put our boomer also on close right here, boys. Definitely put it on close. It is the best setting for it. And yeah, he's still leaking lives. So I'm just going to continue to send, especially layered in with this round five AI. He's just going to continue to leak. And yeah, he just wanted to greet that. That is completely not only fine with me. I'm fine with getting a lot of leaks off you, man. So he's going to have to get up another NG. They're like not in good spots, man. Another NG on top of that. Holy moly. Okay, so he should be able to defend now. So we're going to chill for a second. It looks like he's coming at us with some space black. So I'm actually going to upgrade to the 2-3. And yeah, we should be pretty good, okay? Like I said, definitely put your boomer on close. It is the best option for it, especially in a spot like mine. Uh, currently, the spot that I'm using is pretty good for this map. So you want to be putting it right over there. Uh, so we are definitely catching back up in farms. He's pointlessly upgrading or... Oh, what the fuck? Okay, I, I lied. What in the world is he doing? All right, you're going to have to freaking do something. He's already going for the balloon trap. Oh my god, he's going to leak so many lives right here. Okay, he's lucky he has that. Yeah. <laughs> he's already going for that balloon trap. Wow. Okay, so normally I wouldn't go to the, for the balloon trap until round 10 because that's the round let's come out. But hey, I, I'm not judging you, but like you didn't have to. Well, he sold a farm. Okay, he sold a farm in order to get that. So I don't think that's the smartest move, but whatever. Okay, we're just going to continue on with farming, of course. So let's get up this next one zero we might be able to get to a plantation before round 10 it's gonna be pretty damn close oh no i didn't make room for my spike factory god damn it i always forget to do that it's fine though it is definitely fine so yeah we really can't send him anything currently we're gonna have to get up the spike factory though we'll put it like right there okay that's a pretty good spot so let's do that and let's get up another farm right there cool 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 we're going to have to eventually upgrade this. So let's just actually get up to the 2-2. Two, two. I like it with the 2-2 two, two, so it can pop camo leads. Um, if it's a huge camo rush, obviously just turbocharge it. Just freaking turbocharge it. So let's put this bad boy back on two first. Uh, we're most definitely going to be sending him a rush. Actually, not right this second, uh, but we will eventually. So let's get up our 1-0 down here. This will be our BIA. And yeah, we're gonna send him a little bit of a camo rush next round, possibly just with like camo whites. I uh, layered him with this AI, so yeah, let's just do that. Let's see um, if he happens to upgrade. Oh my god, he immediately upgraded to that balloon jitsu. It looks like he might also leak a few lives. No, okay, that's completely fine though. I'm not mad whatsoever about that. So yeah, let's go for this uh, BIA in the corner what how the hell okay i forgot to sell a freaking plantation i must have misclicked he also went for his so <laughs> god damn it man of course i go this freaking strategy and this man's going ninja ng god that sucks <laughs> that definitely does suck i'm gonna be sending him some leads next round okay just some regular leads uh to hope actually no we might some send some camel leads behind that yeah let's just do that so some regular leads and then some camel leads behind that and we're gonna see what happens with that. I might even quick shot this. So yeah, let's just do that. Let's see what happens. Oh my God, he's dead, boys. Wow, that layered perfectly. That couldn't have done any better, dude. This is exactly why I love using the quick shot, boys. I get to be so freaking aggressive, catch people off guard, and get easy wins. So that's gonna wrap up the video. I hope you guys did enjoy. Make sure to drop a fat like on the video if you did, and also if you guys are new to the channel, make sure to click that subscribe button. So the last question I asked you guys in the last video was, what year did I start playing Balloons TD Battles? Okay, so I always get this wrong for some reason. Not too sure why. I, I would say to people 2017, but it's actually 2016, okay? December like 28th, 2016 is like around the time, somewhere around there. So yeah, technically it's 2016. If you just go back to my first video, you can see that. So this guy won, congratulations, man. Yeah, that's 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 a year, but it's pretty much 2017 because it's 2016 of December. So you know what I mean? It's pretty close to the end of the year. So yeah, I've been playing this game for like two and a half years. It's been quite a journey, boys. Quite a freaking journey. But nonetheless, congratulations, man, on your shout out. So the next question I'm gonna be asking you guys is, what is my favorite food, okay? I actually said this in my day in the life video, I think. 
um, but I'll give you a hint. It is a fruit, okay? It is a fruit, so make sure to leave your answers down below in the comment section, and you may have the chance to win a shout out in the next video, which is obviously dope. I hope you boys did enjoy. Once again, it's been your boy Boltrix, or Justin. Peace out, everybody.